in physics, we often have to measure and deal with really small quantities and really large quantities. So, for example, this tree frog might have a width of 0 0.003 meters. And this bolt of lightning might have a current flowing of 10,000 amps. Now we can use this normal way of writing numbers using lots of decimal places or lots of zeros for small and for large objects, or large quantities. But we can also make it a bit easier by using something called prefixes. And all prefixes are, are some letters before the unit, which are multipliers. So for example, we can have the prefix milli, and you're familiar with the, the measurement of a millimeter. So a milli is actually multiplying by a thousandth. So we could write that as times 10 to the power of minus three. And so we could rewrite the width of this tree frog as three millimeters. Because if the decimal point is there to start with, then multiplying by a thousandth, that's times 10 to the minus three, would move it three spaces to the left. And that would give us 0 0.003 meters. So milli is just multiplying the number by a thousandth. We can also have other prefixes. Now, the ones that you need to know are on this flashcard. So let's take a look. So we're going to use power of 10 notation to convert the prefixes that we see, convert these quantities into standard units that we can then use in calculations. It's really important to get them as standard units before we put them into any formula. So first of all, what does mega mean? Well, mega is describing something very big, and mega is a multiplier of a million. That's one with six zeros after it, or more easily, it's times 10 to the power of six. So we can write that as four times 10 to the power of six joules. That'll be four million joules much easier to write it as 4mj. There we go. But we'd use this number in our calculations because that's the standard type of notation. What about something very small? Well, milli, there we are, there's milli, just as we saw millimeters previously for the tree frog. Milli means divide by a thousand. And so this another way of dividing by a thousand is to multiply by a thousandth or times by 10 to the power of minus three. So eight milliamps, when we convert it into normal standard units, will be eight times by 10 to the minus three amps. And if we were to um, write this out as a, as a normal number, it would be 0, 0.0, let's just get that point there, 0, 0.08 amps, because that decimal point has been moved three spaces to the left, one, two, three, to get the normal measurement in amps. Okay, by the way, in passing, there's a useful key on your calculator, which you might want to uh, explore. It's called the ENG key, and it stands for engineering prefix. So that's all to do with these uh, multipliers. And if you press the ENG key, it will actually move the decimal place three spaces left or right so that you can go up to, or sorry, go down to milli or up to mega. Have a play with that and uh, you might use to, need to use shift plus ENG to go the other way. Okay, let's keep going. We've got 53 centimeters. Now centi is multiplying by a hundredth. 
and when you multiply by a hundredth you're actually multiplying by 10 to the power of minus 2. So we can write 53 centimetres in metres as 53 times 10 to the minus 2 metres. We can put that into our calculator straight away and use it for our calculations. And we're in the standard unit in physics of metres. Finally, you need to know what kilo means. And kilo means multiplying by a thousand. So another way of writing that is times 10 to the power of 3. And so we can write this as 2.2 times by 10 to the power of 3. And if we were to write this out in its proper form and its normal form, it would be 2,200 newtons because the decimal point has moved three places to the right. One, two, three. So those are prefixes. And the prefixes you need to know are mega, milli, centi, and kilo. Whenever you see them in a question, make sure that you convert using the power of 10 notation into the standard units of whatever you're dealing with in that question. Hope that's been helpful. See you in the next flashcard.